Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial um, on using AI for uh, 3D meshes. Um, so this tutorial is basically going to talk about doing characters, um, how to take a, a, a 2D image of a character, translate the 3D, um, get it through Trellis, and then how to rig and animate it using uh, Mixamo. Um, so it should be pretty quick. Um, let's just jump into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is what kind of character you should be trying to do. Um, I've got a few characters here that I've generated. Um, this is the one that I'm going to actually be using. So when you're using uh, Mixamo to do like this auto rig type of workflow, there's some caveats you want to kind of be aware of. Um, you want to make sure that you're in an A pose or at least a T an A pose or a T pose. Um, a pose seems to work pretty well uh, because it's really hard for the AI for some reason to do a character with palms facing down. Um, so I typically will use an A pose uh, in the prompt to, to generate a character like this. Um, so you can see there's nice space between the arm and the body the hands and the body um, and that's really important um, so you get to a character like this um, you're gonna run into some issues because the hands are so close to the body that the auto rigger is going to confuse this mesh right here like the distance in between there so you could use this character potentially you would just want to go into either uh, you'd probably want to go into Photoshop before trellis um, to just move the arms out a little bit, or you can also take this into um, into something like Blender or Maya, and then actually edit the 3D mesh and just pull the arms out, um, which is totally fine too. Um, it's just something to kind of keep in in mind. Um, other kind of issues, like characters like this with these kind of huge heads and small bodies. Again, it, you could run into problems because uh, the rigger just doesn't understand, like his chin's here, but he has no neck, um, things like that. Uh, so just some like this one will work just fine because there's nice and there's plenty of space, um, not too round around the midsection to where it's gonna not skin the uh, the hands. Um, the other thing you really want to pay attention to is lighting. Um, and this is more about the 3D character generation in Trellis. So any lighting that comes that's in this image, and because this is just a flat 2D image, is going to get translated into the texture. So like the shadow right here that we see from this hand, that's going into the texture. Um, and I will get into textures later on after we kind of do some ZBrush work. So typically what you would do is load this character into Substance Painter, and then you would go through and just kind of hand correct these textures or you could retexture the entire character as well um, but that's kind of for later on this is really about just kind of having some fun and animating a mesh um, with some procedural tools so let's jump into it um, so here's trellis i'm going to go ahead and load up that previous image Um, if you aren't familiar with Trellis or generating uh, the image prompt, you can watch one of my previous videos for information on that. I'm not going to cover it in this. You should know it already, and if you don't, you can rewatch that video. Um, again, for Trellis, I'm just I'm just going to use Multi Diffusion because it seems to have more predictable results, and then I'm going to fast forward while it's picking up the GPU, and uh, I'll pick it back up once the the 3D asset is generated. So here we are. Here's the, the asset. Messed up the mouth a little bit, but we're not going to worry about it. Again, this isn't about making a perfect model. It's just about making uh, a pretty cool mesh animated and going as fast as possible. Um, so you can kind of iterate and say, okay, well, this character works with animation. This one doesn't. Um, as opposed to going through an entire character pipeline through rigging to find out what the uh, the issues might be. And here is our asset. So again, I'm going to download the GLB um, and then convert it. 
so I have this sample 7 GOV um, you don't have to do this step if you want to you can open this up in blender and then do the FBX um, conversion so I've already converted this so you don't have to sit there and watch me do it um, but the GLB will convert to XB, FBX or OBJ. I use FBX for Mixamo. Um, seems to work better. So I'm just going to save this. So now I've got this FBX, and then we're going to head over to Mixamo. Um, you'll log in through Mixamo, through Creative Cloud, through Adobe. Um, and then to get your character in here, we just go over here to Upload Character. Uh, before I before we do that, make sure you're in character mode, not animations. Um, then we'll upload character, select the character, grab the FBX file, it'll upload it, and then this is the auto rigger, so it's making sure that you're oriented to um, Z front. Uh, if your character is flipped uh, around, all you have to do is use this rotate on Y axis, and it'll rotate it for you. We'll hit next. This is the auto rigger. This is super easy to use. You just click and drag these little points to the associated area. So there's his chin, and there's the wrists, elbows, knees, and groin. It's as simple as that. Uh, make sure you symmetry is on. The skeleton LOD, just standard skeleton 65 is fine. And then we're going to hit next. And then it's going to auto rig. Now I'll fast forward through this. And then now he is done. So I'll just use this pan just to pan around here a little bit. And then now we can see he's animated. So we'll just hit next. And then hit next again. And then here's our guy. Um, so then we're just going to go to animations and then just have fun. Um, for the assignment, you're just going to apply one animation to the character and do a screenshot. Um, but I, I encourage you to just kind of have fun with this. Um, I'm just going to use a walk cycle, so go to search and walk, and then hit enter. And then I'm going to apply a walk cycle. Um, I th it's pretty cool if you just use in place, and then you can just kind of watch him walk, or watch your character walk. And it's that simple. Um, to get this character, this animation out, all you would do is download it and then you could bring it into any package you want, whether it's Unreal or Blender or Houdini or whatever. Um, and any of these animations will work, as you can see. So you could do, you could do a lot with this workflow. It's really cool. And it's that simple. Um, go ahead and have some fun with this. Thanks.